Hello traders, uh, this is Césaire. I am sharing what I'm learning as a Forex investor. I'm sharing with everybody what, I'm, what I learn and what I'm doing uh, and to see if it's something you would like to do. But today we're going to do review of AUDJPY Forex currency pair. Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen. We're going to do analysis of what happened in week three so we can see what week four has in store for us starting this Sunday at five for the last week of September. Let's go and uh, do the analysis for this pair. The uptrend is not complete yet because this is the first high once this goes up high and give us a high that's higher than this high then say we we'll say all right we have a, 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 a let's say it does this if we have a one a two we need the three that's higher then come back here to to here then we would say all right now we have an uptrend going but you can see the, the three is forming right now. We want the one, the, that's the two, and then we, have, we want, and it, you know, we trace for the two, and then we want it to move, make a move that is higher than this, than, than, than this high right here. So we are looking price. If, if it does that, we, we confirm that is a uptrend. But for right now, we can see price is going up. Let's close this. Price have the probability for price to go up still higher now than for price to go down because price closed above a weekly resistance right here. So now the same resistance that uh, this weekly uh, candlestick closed close above it will become support uh, this week coming up for week four. So let's go down to the daily time frame to see what we see. So in the daily time frame, we can see this is an uptrend. We have a, a real uptrend going on here. Price been going up for a while now. You see from that point, it does higher high, higher low, higher high. Then it start going down. It's doing the low, a uh, lower low lower high, lower low, I mean, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. When it's get to here, then it start changing again. This is where we are. It's making a, a, a high that is a little bit higher than this high. You make a low that is higher than this low right here. And then it's make another high that is higher than this high. And then now, it stopped right here. So what we can see in the daily in the daily time frame, this is the the three candles for the daily, uh, the five candles for last week for week three. And uh, this is one price goes close above it. Tuesday, Wednesday, price. This is a, a we have a daily resistance right here. Price get to it, close under it. On Thursday, price go down that low. It's meeting our resistance and support right here, and price continue to go up. And then we can see in the weekly time frame, price have the tendency to go up. Let's look at it right here. You see what we have now? We have a confirmation price might continue to go up to test this again. That that's another possibility. But if, if the price is doing this, we have to go down to a low time frame. We don't we don't do we don't trade. In, in weekly and daily resistance, we we if you are a long term you know uh, trader, but you can do that. But um, if if you are a short term trader or a swing trader or a, a scalper, um, uh, four hours is 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 a good one to check. Let's check the four hour time frame. See what's happened here. So this is last week. What happened? See price goes stay at that resistance the four hour the the support, and it goes up. It's come down and meet a four hour support right there and price to continue to go up. So that was last week, uh, week three. See, price start here, go down a little bit, 
price go up, price come down, and price get to the resistance again. Now you can see price is heading down. This is on a, on a shorter term. So this is why we pay attention. Price might come back here, test that again, or he might not make it that low. That low. This is what we have to see. And if it's making that low, that's okay too. Most likely, if it's making that low, because we're gonna have uh, the EMA is gonna meet somewhere over here. So if it's making that low, most likely we expect it to continue to do this, test it, to come back here, to do this, or to come back here again. So this is, we we because we get an uptrend, you can see it's making higher high and lower low. So we're still in an uptrend. Price, even though you can see it's close, this last four hour candlestick close here below it, most likely it might go down first before it goes up. So if I'm trading in the four hour time frame, when price open this afternoon, I want to see price either because it's already closed here last week. So I want to see price to continue to go down. If I'm going to take a trade, I'm going to wait for it right here to take my trade to go up with it. So that's what I would look for. So because we have, we have, you see how many uh, support we have. We have the weekly support. We have the four hour support right here. We have three EMAs, one, two, three. And then you can see they are in order 50, 100, and, and, and 200 EMA, exponential EMA. It, then they're telling you that most, most price have a tendency to continue to go up. As we can see right now, the RSI also is at 56%. So uh, we, 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 there's more room. There's room to go up and room to go down. But with all these support right here, I would uh, uh, do a trade maybe if price goes down here or even at least to that four hours here, I would try to do something around here. So this is, let's go down uh, to the one hour time frame. Let's close this. Let's remove these to see what we are we seeing and the in the one hour because we want to verify everything if you some people might trade in four hours time frame but some people might take a one hour time frame to put the the trade to waiting for a confirmation a candlestick confirmation or the 30 minutes candlestick take the 30 minute time frame so one hour time frame the same thing we see the market was uh, making oh as you can see that it's an uptrend and here when the market hit here it's come back down, stay down here. It give us a, a uh, let's see this price go down here. It give us a double bottom, and you can see price stop right here at this resistance in the one hour, and and most likely it might come back to somewhere around here because in the in the one hour time frame you see these this EMA. He might come back to this EMAs before continue to go up. So before doing this, all right. So before doing this, price might do that. You see that? If you see this one, you might think, ah, price might break it because it's making lower low here. That doesn't tell us anything. Okay. So it can be come down and continue to go up. If it's come down lower than this low, then we say, all right. So we might have a or trend reversal somewhere around here. Okay, but that most likely this might be a retracement. This is what I'm, we are looking at for AUD JPY. So if you are a trader, if you want to do this, if you want to learn how to analyze chart like this, go to www.eta25pips.com and they can help you do that. That's where I went. I went to that school. It's one of the best. And it can help you understand technical analysis, how to trade and how to do all this. Okay. So I'll see you guys very soon.